I've had my first exchange with Rocking Horse Dreams. He's done his um, first turn dismissals. He put Sir Gawain here. Uh, seems apparent he's heading for the Ancient Labyrinth. Uh, he also put Annie Oakley here, and that was that's particularly scary for me. She has a card right now. She begins the game with one, and he puts her smack dab right by where Sergeant Grit is. Uh, so already I, I'm in a, a bit of a I have a bit of a conundrum. So on the one hand. I don't know what that card is, and that that that's what makes it difficult. I mean, it it seems like okay. So he must have rolled a four. What was what was he thinking? He could have also put her over here. That you know, if he's trying to get to the Colonial Labyrinth, which would possibly make sense, that's not a good spot. So this is probably the best spot for him. However, you know, he had to know that Sergeant Grit would want to beat her up. But what if she has some sort of card that's going to hurt him? Um, I don't think the Sarge is going to want to take her on at this point, but that's kind of what I have to decide, whether I want him to just kind of camp out there uh, in front of where she comes out and try and kick her teeth in, which is what the sergeant would love to do. Oh, he'd love to kick that smug face. All right, I've, I've worked out my return move. Um, nothing too exciting, but it's. I, I wanted to explain what these are, because you'll probably see a lot of these, at least coming from my end. I'm not sure how Rockin' Horse Streams is going to mark this, but what this is is the, my way of marking the movement path. The reason why I need to do that is because in this game, in case you don't know, uh, after I move, he's able to um, mark a spot on the path. Um, for fire, so he can shoot at my guy during my turn, and that's that's actually in my experience where most of the gunfire actually occurs is on the other player's turn. Okay, one other thing I wanted to say before I wrap up this turn, well, I guess I got to do dismissals. Um, Sir, I, I found it kind of curious his decision to put Sir Go Gerway, Gawain in. Um, I guess it's kind of different than my initial strategy, which was to use my fast guys first, right? Try to get some cards. But I can kind of see why he did it, because one, Sir Gawain is very good at melee. So that's going to dissuade me from putting anyone, uh, dismissing anyone into there. So if I roll a three, you know, I'm probably going to want to go there. If I roll a one, I, of course, have more options. Um, the other thing is maybe he's thinking, since Sir Gawain is slow, but also very dependent on items to really reach for his potential, so to speak. And he's thinking he needs to, he needs kind of the head start that being dismissed the first turn has to offer. That's my guess. Okie do, I chose my second turn dismissals. I thought I'd take a page out of the Rocking Horse Dreams book and pick my slowest character, Paraxian, who's also really benefits from having an item. He, um, He's quite the marksman, but he needs a gun to be a marksman. So I, I dismissed him, and then I dismissed, I kind of used my my kind of older thought to dismiss Marcus Oros, a really good adventurer. Um, he got the three, which is nice because he's close to the future labyrinth. I think he should be able to dipe that challenge, no problem. Time to take some photos and send him back to Rocking Horse Dreams. We'll see what he decides to do. I hope Annie Oakley doesn't come after him. We got some updated movement. Geronimo's closing in. Certain Grit got stuck in the swamp. Looks like Marcus got sent in, as did Paraxian back there. All right, Annie has six movement. I would like to get her over here somewhere. But I don't know if that's going to happen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or I could come mess with things over here. But let's just do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. She'll have a better shot over there. And he can move five. There he is. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna get Pat Garrett the lawman in. Let's see where he will end up. He's colonial. So 
a one or a five would be awesome. Let's see how it goes. Four. Anything but four. I think he's gonna end up over here. That's unfortunate. And we'll send in Boris next. He's modern. So maybe a one or a two would be good for him. Let's see. Maybe if I roll this one, it's sitting on a one. Let's see if we can get a one out of this. Over there. Huh. Let's see, so next turn. Gregor has Agent 911 and Arden to put in. And I have Melina, Melina, and Spartacus. Turn two. The Jack of Clubs. It's the beginning of the third turn, and I, I've um, inputted um, Rocking Horse Dreams moves for the second turn. Um, so let's take a look at what he did. Uh, he moved Annie Oakley over here, which is good. He's not going to be coming after the sergeant with her. I was, I was really scared that she had a gun or something and was going to riddle me with bullets. But instead, I, it, apparently he's going towards the colonial labyrinth. He also dismissed in Pat Garrett, um, also probably heading for the colonial labyrinth. It's too bad. Well, maybe I can get the agent down there to, to guard the labyrinth and um, make it a pain in his batoodle. Because um, Solon says that it's good to, to guard the colonial labyrinth, and Agent 911 is good at that. Um, he put Boris in over here, which made me fear for Paraxian's life. Paraxian is pretty tough. Um, he's got good armor, but he has low health, so if he went for a gambit, then he wouldn't be able to counterattack melee wise. Uh, very well. So if he went for a gambit and just tried to wail on him with Boris, he could get several attacks in and maybe if he got if he rolled luckily enough, he could take Praxian out early in the game. So I put Praxian right in the fire here. Um, my guess just from I don't know, my guess is he's not going to be hounding him with Boris. I don't I don't feel like Rocking Horse Dreams is maybe that aggressive of a player, but it's possible. Assuming Rocking Horse Dreams doesn't want to have Annie Oakley shoot through a bunch of swamp hexes at Sarge during the opportunity fire phase, my turn is done. Um, what else did I do? I mainly just moved guys. Um, did a couple. My last two dismissals. Kind of a bummer for Agent Nine One One. He's way out here on the other end of the forge. Whoever rolls a six is going to be over here unless the sixes are filled up. So he's going to have the long, slow trek around here. Uh, my plan is to get him into the Colonial Labyrinth, and he'll be the defender there. Um, Solon says it's good to have the Colonial Labyrinth because it has the Tower of uh, Maneuver, which is very useful in this game, um, com comparatively speaking with the other towers, because it's not unusual for characters to get pinned. What with all the guns and the opportunity fire, you don't want to move because you'll get shot, so you'll be pinned somewhere, and so then your best option is to oftentimes to use a tower of maneuver to hopefully either get your character out of the pin situation or else to um, move the person who has your character pinned. Um, I also put in Arden Glein. Um, if you recall I was saving him for last because he's, he can challenge any labyrinth equally well. I had him, I put him closest to the future labyrinth, not because he's a future guy, but because of my other choices, it was the best. I could have put him here, but, you know, Sir Gawain, I think, uh, would definitely beat him in, in a fight if they if it came to it. So I didn't want him over in here. I also didn't want to put him here because, I don't know, uh, uh, Annie Oakley. You know, I still don't know if she has, what, what her card is. And so... I, there was no reason to really risk it, so I put him in the future area. We'll see what rocking, how Rocking Horse Dreams responds. Paraxian can hang out in fire. No one else can. Um, I don't think... 
I don't think he has a weapon. But he moved from here to here, and I have someone here. And I don't know why he did that. Let's move Annie. Let's see, she can move six. Do. Movement markers. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, and she'll end up here. I think that works. Sir Gawain can move five. One, two, three, four, five. Pat Garrett is over here and Geronimo's gonna advance that so let's take back the pat the same way he'll go one two three four five six I don't know what's going on right here I don't know what he's trying. I mean, this I get. This I get. He didn't really have many options there, I and mean, he wants he wants him here. But that I don't know. I don't know if he's if he's wanting a fight, if he's trying to avoid a fight. Boris isn't that great on anything. I guess he's a he's a decent melee fighter. He's no Spartacus, but who is? You know what? I'm. He has to go here, one, two, three, four. It doesn't make any sense to do that. So he'll just go here, and I'll leave it in Gregor's hands if there's gonna be a fight or not, because I can't go on the fire. I don't know. I need a weapon. And he needs a pistol. Pat needs a pistol. Boris needs a pistol. Where'd he go? There he is. I think Sir Gawain's doing okay. I need some weapons. I need some weapons. Let's see where Molina's gonna go. Let's see if we can will some twos or fours for her. Let's see if we can't give Sergeant Grid a run for his money. Alright. Everyone. Twos and fours. Twos and fours for Melina. And look at that. So four isn't a two, but it's two of them. So that actually worked out pretty well. We have a nice little wagon train going there for the western heroes. And Spartacus wants to get to the ancient labyrinth over there to help Sir Gawain. So we need a one or a three. Do we think we can do that? I think I asked for a one or a three last time. And I don't. I don't remember if it worked or not. Let's see. No. Nope. Two threes. So the only six is way off over here. I don't know if Greg put the board together randomly. I think he said he was going to. You all know. But I don't like that six being all the way over there. Alas, Spartacus is a long way from home. He's a long way from anything. 